Hi, this is Andy from Fieldwire. Today I'm going to run through a workflow that can be used by multifamily residential projects, hotel projects, or other projects with repetitive floor plans. Applying this workflow will save time, reduce rework, and help increase standardization across the building. We have seen that productivity on site comes from proactive coordination and communication with the multiple stakeholders involved. In this workflow, we will discuss how to populate tasks on one floor plan and replicate those tasks onto another level or multiple levels with that same floor plan. This workflow will save you time by pre-populating pre-task checklists, punch lists, or any other tasks that happen from room to room or floor plan to floor plan. For this workflow, you'll need a computer for two of the steps, so be sure to plan accordingly. The Fieldwire task feature can be used to capture general to-do items, QA, QC, punch lists, deficiencies, and pre-task items. You'll find a video explaining how to use tasks below in the description. In this case, I'm a project manager at a GC working on a multifamily residential project where floor levels two through five have the same floor plan. I am planning the installation of drywall into each room. I'm going to assign all of these tasks to my drywall subcontractor and attach a pre-drywall checklist to confirm all steps within the checklist get completed. I am planning the installation of drywall into each room, but I could use the same process as a specialty contractor planning pre-task work for other trades, an architect planning for a punch walk, or any other work that needs to be completed. Step one will be to pre-populate one plan with the work that needs to be completed using the task feature. On any device within the plans tab, I'm going to select and start on level two. I've used the markup toolbar to create a location specific task called drywall. It is important to place these tasks in the desired location as Fieldwire will use this location when it copies tasks to the other plans. I have added a checklist template called pre-drywall checklist and have changed the category to drywall and have signed these out to Maggie, my drywall subcontractor. Because I created a checklist, a tag automatically populates called pre-drywall checklist. Tags help to sort and filter for any items outside of the other task attributes. In this case, I will use this tag as my unique task identifier, which will later help sort out these particular tasks that I'm going to copy from floor plan to floor plan. I can also choose to add a start and end date, or I can adjust the start and end date on the calendar or Gantt view. Once a task is created, I can right click this task and choose to duplicate it to all of the rooms needing the same task. Once I have all my tasks populated on the level two floor plan, I want to replicate these tasks to my other floor plans. To do this, I will export these tasks out into a CSV report, which can be opened in Excel. This will export the information I need to import these tasks back into the project onto the remaining floor plans. First, on my computer, I will select the task tab and select generate reports. Then I will create a report template and name it. In this case, to keep things easy, I will name it level two pre-drywall tasks. I will change the report type to CSV and adjust the filters accordingly. In my case, to capture the pre-drywall tasks I just created, I will filter the category to drywall, filter the hashtag to pre-drywall checklist, and filter within the level two plan, which is sheet A2.01-2. Last, I will enter my email into the recipient section and then email or download the report. When we import these tasks, we will use the task importer. While it is not important at this moment, I wanted to point out that a task importer gives you the option to import the skeleton of the task, meaning that any photos or messages will not be transferred over. The task importer has columns for title, priority, category, assignee email, start date, end date, plan, X position, Y position, location, manpower, cost, description slash hashtag, related task name, checklist, and existing files. This information will be exported out in that CSV file. In my email, I will receive a link to the file. 
I can then select the link and open the CSV in Excel. The Excel file has captured the task and associated attributes. If there is a task within the Excel file that I don't need copied over, I can delete the row with that task and save the file to reflect that change. Step three is to import these tasks onto level three through five. I will copy columns title through cost from my Excel document into the task importer. In this case, any cells that are highlighted red indicates there is an error. This can happen if you have input a category, plan, or location that isn't already loaded into a specific project. In this case, the date is in the incorrect format. I can go back to my Excel document, change the format accordingly, and save the file. Once complete, I can copy and paste the correct format. I also want to add all of the new tasks to include the pre-drywall checklist. If there was any documentation needed within that task, I could also add an existing file. Since I want to populate these tasks onto level three, four, and five, I need to change the plan accordingly. I will use the dropdown to select the level three floor plan and drag it down through applicable tasks. After this is complete, I will select all of the tasks and copy and paste them and repeat the process for level four and level five. In this case, I also have the unit numbers listed as the location and can change these accordingly. If I want the assignee to complete one level per week, I can change the priority level and start an end date accordingly. If I do not want to enter these dates into the task importer, I can adjust these in the platform within the calendar or Gantt view. Once I have the information added, I can select import tasks. Step four is to track the progress of these tasks. Once imported, I can go back to my plan tab on any device and confirm the tasks have been populated on level three, four, and five. Now, as Maggie completes the work on site, she's able to check off items from the checklist, add photos, and complete the tasks. I am able to track progress in each location with photos and messages within the task. Once I confirm the work is complete, I can use our two-step verification to confirm all steps in the checklist have been completed. Since I have already set up a report template, I can change the template type to detailed PDF and schedule these reports to go out on a certain day of the week or month to keep our subcontractors, owners, and other users in the loop of the progress on these tasks. This completes how we can clone slash replicate tasks and checklist. By simply exporting a single task and checklist into a CSV file and importing the report back into quickly populate tasks and projects with duplicate floor plans. Check out the Fieldwire account for more useful videos. Thanks for watching.